feeling good, feeling great Cause I got a big old smile upon my face and you can't take that away. Good morning, guys. So I'm doing my makeup because today we're, it's a family day. We're gonna go and get Zion a library card. We're making a big deal out of it. So, um, cause it's a big deal. We're limiting his, uh, his screen time, his iPad and stuff like that, getting him more into books and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna take him to, if you're not from New York, you're probably not familiar with the big library, Grand Army Plaza. You know, it's a really cool experience. Like, I love that library. So we're gonna take him there to get his first library card. It's only a few minutes from us. So yeah, we're really excited about it. Gonna take him out to eat afterwards. Gonna go to the park, make a big deal out of it. But yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup. But before I do, the reason I'm on camera right now without any makeup <laughs> is because I know I told you guys in my last video that my skin was really acting up like flaring up and dry patches and all this kind of stuff and i told you i was going to go to the dermatologist i went to the dermatologist and i'm just trying to find out what she said it was and i know i told you guys i thought it was eczema it's not eczema that's why you shouldn't self-diagnose yourself <laughs> um i thought it was eczema because of the dry patches and stuff but it's actually seb sebo i'm not you know, I'm not a doctor. Sibo seboric dermatitis. And from what she explained to me, it's basically like everybody has like a certain layer of like yeast on their face or whatever. But I guess mine is like kind of like overgrown and it creates like these dry patches. And I was like, why? Like, why? How did that even happen? And then she was explaining that it happens when like your body has been through like major changes or whatever. So I was explaining to her that, you know, I just had a baby in October and she's like, yeah, that would do it because hormonally your body was all out of whack and stuff. And I was like, okay, that makes sense because when I was pregnant with Zion, after I had him, the same thing happened to my skin. I had all these like patches, dry patches. I kept on using moisturizer. It was just, I was like, what is going on? It was just dry patches off and on, off and on. So she was like, yeah, you know, it's take, you know, it takes a while for, you, for your hormones to regulate. So she prescribed me some medication. One of them, try a, try a, I'll put the name now. <laughs> the other one I have to go pick up because it wasn't in stock when I went to my dermatologist, I mean, to the pharmacy to pick it up. But they called me now and said that it's in stock, so I'm gonna go pick that up. So the only reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because you shouldn't self-diagnose yourself. I thought it was eczema, so I was constantly applying moisturizer to my face. It wasn't even eczema. And she was like, yeah, you can apply all the moisturizer that you want, but there's a, a specific kind of treatment that medication that you're supposed to use for it that'll make it clear up. She said it should clear up um, in less than 10 days. She said, save it in my medicine cabinet. If it ever pops up again, use it again and you know it'll, it'll clear right up. Which is good because I've been dealing with this for months. Months. I just thought it was just really dry skin. I thought my skin texture was changing. This is why you shouldn't self-diagnose. Just go to a doctor if something is a little off, let them treat it and get it over with. So yeah, I say all that to say that I'm gonna have it under control so I can start doing other things because I stopped doing skincare treatments. I stopped using any kind of like, like Retin-A, I stopped using anything because I didn't know what was going on. So once it clears up, I'll go back to my regular routine and like, you know, take care of my skin and stuff. So yeah, so I'm just gonna do my makeup really quickly i'm not going to really talk in this because when i talk in the video it takes a lot longer but i do want to share with you guys that i saw that sephora yesterday and i picked up a couple of things um the face primer from urban decay i never tried this before it's face primer long wear foundation it's called grip it's supposed to grip your foundation so i hope it does because i'm going to be using this you know my setting i'm doing my face for all day i'm going to hang out with my family and um i got some foundations some new foundations i actually got color matched for the first time so could you i just go pick my own stuff i was like you know what i haven't been to sephora in so long let me just get the experience so i got color match for a nars <laughs> nars foundation and a um focus a pat mcgrath foundation i wanted to try pat mcgrath because hey she's a woman of color i want to try it um from the consistency that i can see 
in the store. It's very watery. It's like MAC face and body. So if you really like face and body, which I actually did like face and body because it's super light, but it's buildable. It's super watery. I would not use this with a sponge because <laughs> the sponge just soak it all up. But yeah, I got that and I'm going to try today the soft matte from NARS. And the color I got matched to is Mano. Remember when we used to do that back in the day? <laughs> um, yeah, if y'all are OG um, followers, subscriber, remember when we used to all be like... <laughs> but anyway, let me get ready, do my face real quick, get my kids ready so we can be out. I went to Sephora yesterday as I shared with you guys and I'm going to try some of the Fenty lipsticks because I picked up three. The whole thing with the um the holder of the lipstick confused me in the Sephora and the Sephora um assistant that was helping me she didn't understand it either but then you know we finally figured it out. So at first I was like I don't understand why it's so complicated but now that i think about it okay it makes a lot of sense if you're about like saving from wastage and stuff the colors that i got are major magnet magnate major magnate pose queen and flaunty auntie i think i'm going to go with either major magnate or pose queen today let me try pose queen <laughs> And then, whichever one I choose, I'm going to pop it in the lipstick holder. This is Pose Queen. I'm going with Pulse Queen. <laughs> mm. It smells really good. It smells good and it feels really smooth. Mm. I got it because it says it's a semi-matte 
lipstick and I really really like um, matte lipsticks the only thing about matte lipsticks is that sometimes it can make your lips feel super super dry and if you don't full, like properly exfoliate your lips will look all crackled and stuff but I'm really liking this it gives you a little bit of a matte but a little sheen on it too so I kind of like that hmm definitely doesn't make your your um lips feel dry i can tell you that okay so pop it if i remember how you do it in the store you pop it here and then you pop it in here right how do you, okay because i'm like how do i get it out okay so it locks when you press the button in there it locks so it's not going to come apart in your purse which is great and then you just turn this part and it'll pop out ha and then you just pull it out. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, turn it. See how that pops out? Right? And then we just, okay, pull on this end. Ha ha! And then you just use your lipstick. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. I get it, Rihanna. <laughs> All right, so that's my makeup for today I try to keep it simple not too glam I realize that you know really bright highlight and all that kind of stuff has its place if it's like you know maybe a dinner or like a party or you know something like that but for hanging out with my kids and stuff I still contour and highlight you know because I'm a glam girl at the core you know diva you know what I'm saying I can't I can't get that out of me you know I'm a glam girl at the core but you know just tone it down a little bit i just tone it down just just a little bit i may not go you know three four shades you know for my highlight i may go one or two you know <laughs> so yeah i'm going to show you guys my outfit now and then um probably introduce you to the kids because i still haven't done that so i'm going to introduce you to the kids and then we are off to our day of fun and going to the library and all that kind of stuff all right guys so you guys already know i shared in my other video my favorite scent amorous from maison francis kirkajan um it's like i said it's like my everyday scent so yeah like that so my outfit of the day i will show you guys i'll take you guys off the little tripod but right now it's um this blazer from i actually got this blazer from marshall's it was actually a marshall that connected to a home goods so it's like marshall's home goods and I saw it and I just thought it was super cute I'm like you can find cute pieces anywhere and it was super affordable I feel I feel like it was like less than $30 and you know it's just I loved it you know because of the colors it's bright you guys know like I said I'm doing different things stepping out my comfort zone you know as a New Yorker black is it's just what we do <laughs> you know darker colors but for this stage of my life, I wanted to try, you know, start trying new things, experimenting, being a bit more colorful and stuff. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I definitely can give it a try. And, you know, it was super affordable. So I'm like, there's no, there's no risk here, you know, and I actually like it a lot. So yeah, this blazer from Marshalls slash on goods, <laughs> but the Marshalls section, these shorts are from zara i've actually had them for a few years so you're not gonna find them on the zara website because i've had them for years and i've never worn them <laughs> i've never worn them out so i'm wearing them on this is just a simple camisole this one is from um h m i believe so yeah so let's pick out some shoes and a purse okay and a handbag all right so it'll be super easy to go for these because it goes perfectly like I said, I'm hanging out with my kids today, and when I'm hanging out with my kids, I want to be comfortable. So I could do these Chanel sandals, which are super comfortable. I wore them out the other day when we went to the museum in the other vlog, and it was super comfortable. So this is a, a contender, but I was thinking of doing the dad sandals because I haven't worn them yet, and I'm on a mission to wear my stuff. And, you know, even though you know it's like it has a little bit of color and the color is not necessarily the same as you know on my blazer but i feel like i can get away with it because the colors on the sandals are like pink blue and white and i'm wearing blue and white and if i wear this i'm going to wear a pink bag so 
I think that's what I'm going to do. Cause like I said, it could I can totally wear this and it'll be popping regardless, you know. But I'm going to go with this. I need to wear my stuff, okay? <laughs> Like I told you guys, I don't want to just, you know, have stuff just to be like, oh, I got this. No, I need to wear it. I don't want to just be looking at things and be like, oh, this is pretty. You know, I'll wear it when, blah, blah, blah. No, I'll wear it now. Okay, this works. It, it, it's working. I'll show you guys. It's working. And since I'm going to wear this, you know, and I can wear a pink bag with this because this has like little shades of pink in it anyways. So I'm going to do my pink chanel bag i got this from what's that website fashion file because <laughs> let me tell you guys i first got into chanel when i was in college right that's when i really saw like a really beautiful chanel bag and when i saw that bag i didn't really even really know what chanel was but when i saw that bag i was just staring at it i saw it on a lady in manhattan you know and she was just crossing the street and it was a it was a fuchsia pink patent leather mini and it, but it was the square mini and i remember looking at that bag and i was like what bag is that and i remember seeing the double c's and i was like i need to find that bag so you know finally when i got into chanel and stuff like that i was like i want a pink a fuchsia pink patent leather handbag mini great but you know, I didn't really want the mini. I wanted like the regular size, you know, the medium. So when I saw this on Fashion File, I was like, yes. And for the price that I got it for, it, this was before the recent, you know, the price hikes and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. I didn't get it for like anything like super astronomical. So I was super happy when I saw it. It was in great condition. So I just picked, I just got it. I originally, I wanted it to be, you know, fuchsia pink with gold hardware, but it's okay. You know, the the silver hardware is fine. So yeah, so that's the bag I'm wearing today. This is my first time wearing it outside. I've had this since sometime last year. And like I said, I still, I haven't worn it out. So I'm going to wear it out. I'm going to wear my stuff. So let me guys, let me take you guys off and show you guys my outfit today. All right, guys. So this is how I would wear it. So I was like, let me just, you know, put it cross body because that's how I would really wear it when I'm out, especially with my kids. I was like, let me just put it cross body so you guys can have an idea of the outfit. So let's start from the bottom. It's the Chanel Dad sandals. It's like the rainbow pink, blue, white denim type of sandals. And um, jeans again, Zara blazer beautiful <laughs> from marshall's tank top again from h&m bag from chanel this again from fashion file and um yeah keeping my you know my earrings and my jewelry simple today um yeah i believe this was like the first purchase i had made from fashion file and i have one more purchase that i showed you guys in my previous haul like my previous luxury haul that I did that I got from Fashion Fashionable, the Louis Vuitton. Um, let me show you guys. This one, I got from Fashion Fashionable also, you know, for a really, really, really great price. So, yeah, I was really hesitant at first in getting a bag from Fashion Fashionable because I shared with you guys before, I don't like getting pre-owned stuff if I, if I can help it. I don't really like getting pre-owned stuff. But I've been waiting around for a patent leather fuchsia chanel bag and the way that these bag prices are going i'm like no no i'm not i'm not doing that brand new right now i'm not i'm not doing that so when i saw this i just had to get it and i'm really really glad that i got it when i got it before the last two price hikes because the last two price hikes was something okay they were something but anyway this is my outfit all right, let's see how the kids are doing. Feeling good, feeling great. Cause I got a big old smile upon my face. And you can't take that away. Mm -hmm. Feeling good, feeling great. And I know today is going to be my day. And you can't take that away. 
You can't take that away, away, away. You can't take that away, away, away. You can't take that away, away, away. You can't take that away. You can't take that away. So, you want pancakes and bacon, right? Okay, do you want pancakes or do you want waffles? Pancakes. Okay. What do you want, lovey? <laughs> a bottle? Really? Feeling good, feeling great. And I know today is going to be my day. And you can't take that away. You can't take that away, away, away. You can't take that away, away, away. You can't take that away, away, away. You can't take that away. You can't take that away. Cause today is. Excited? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the children's section. Hurry! <laughs> So Zion decided he wants to check out You Have Feelings All The Time and Kindergarten. The kindness matters every day. Is that right, honey bun? Okay, so we're gonna check out these two books. So we both used to come to this library and it Work. looks like around the same time, but we didn't know each other then. Nah. So we find that very interesting. Extremely. <laughs> I used to volunteer here after school when I was in high school and he used to come here to get away <laughs> from, from my having to go home. <laughs> and my crazy to, family, yo. Yeah, and to hang out and sneak out with his girlfriend at the time. So. <laughs> So it's possible that we last. It's possible that we actually crossed paths before realizing that we crossed paths. Yeah, so we were meant to be together. <laughs> so put me on. And now we're here with our kids getting one of them a library card. Look at that. That's look at look at God. <laughs> yeah, look look at God. Okay. Everything 
today. Today is not important. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Your mama told me you saw a lady called Jennifer. Jennifer. The Gen Jennifer is from my family. She is my niece. Why is that? If Jennifer knows it is not an engagement. This is married from outside of the world. The other one that will happen in Jersey is a white man's way of marriage. Well, it's not bad, but this is marriage. So after this ceremony, Jennifer, he is your husband. Baba, that's your wife. Amen. Amen.